Information technology is everywhere. We depend on it increasingly for every part of daily life, not just person to person, but business to business, and in the military, and, and in transportation, and energy production, and everywhere. The cybersecurity is important because these technologies are vulnerable to being hacked. That is, there are bad guys out there who can do all kinds of bad things uh, to them so that they can take advantage of vulnerabilities in this information technology to steal your money, to make your car go off the road, uh, to make planes crash, uh, to bring the power grid down and so on, or at least that, those are the worries that pe those are the kinds of worries that people have. In this report, we describe six findings which we think will help the nation uh, have a more informed discussion, particularly as cybersecurity relates to matters of public policy. The first finding uh, of the report is that cybersecurity is a never-ending battle. The threats are to cybersecurity are always evolving, always changing. Why is this the case? Because as the bad guys do something, we do something to respond. The bad guys do something to respond to us. There's a, a kind of escalation that we do something and he does something else to counter it, and then we do something to counter him and he does something else to counter it, and it ratchets up on itself. If the bad guy is always going to respond to you and then eventually get in again, why is it that we should do any defenses at all? That's a good question. The reason is that by putting up defenses, in the time that he takes to adapt to your defense, he's, he can't get in or it slows him down. So that means he can't clean you out as fast as, as he would otherwise. Okay? Other bad guys who are watching him may say, hey, wait a minute, I don't want to have to go through all of this. I don't want to have to deal with these defenses. So they may choose not to attack at all. So what do we do about the situation? Well, if there's a gap between uh, how strong we are in cybersecurity and what the bad guy can do, in we want to close that gap. right? So there are two parts of that gap. First thing we need to do is do better at using what we know how to do already. We know a lot about cybersecurity, about what works and so on, that in fact not everybody uses. But even if we could get up to that level, which would certainly be better than where we are now, there's another gap. That's the gap between the best possible practices and what the threat actually is. And closing that gap is why you need to have research that will develop new knowledge on how to combat those, those additional threats. So if there's all this urgency about cybersecurity, why hasn't the nation made more progress? There are two reasons for it. One is that individuals, and by individuals I mean individual companies, individual agencies, and so on, individual actors, don't really feel the need yet. Now it's also true that even if everybody were going to do that, the nation as a whole still wouldn't be secure enough. For example, an electric company, one electric company has responsibility for its part of the electric grid. But who's going to protect the entire grid? We haven't yet figured out how to use the market to incentivize these individual actors to take actions for the good of the country. More cybersecurity, better cybersecurity trades off, in fact, against other things that we think are desirable. Are we willing to have searches undertaken of all everybody's email in the name of protecting against viruses? We want our industry and our private sector to be innovative, to have new services and new products all the time. But paying attention to cybersecurity in that context just slows you down. What we learn from such examples, and many others like them, is that trade-offs are going to have to be made in public policy if you want better cybersecurity. We have a lot of offensive capabilities, too. That is, we can use some of the tools that the bad guys use. But there are a lot of problems with using these tools. We don't know when we should use them. We don't know uh, under what circumstances we should use them. We don't know who can give the orders to use them, and so on. Now, people discuss these things in secret, but we think they shouldn't be discussed in secret. We should think that some, at least some of these questions should be discussed openly, because that's part of what a democratic nation does. In summary, the report basically says that the cybersecurity problem is always going to be with us. There's never, ever going to be an end to it that says we don't have to worry about it ever again. There are some solutions, even though they are transient, that, they, that the other guy will adapt. And it's important to understand that those solutions are at least as much non-technical in nature, economic, social, legal, and, and so on, as they are technological in, in nature. And if you want to learn more about this stuff, go see this great report.